Page 60. Chapter 7. Scale-Oriented Tunes, Licks, and Improvisation. Let's read some of this text together. In Chapter 6, the construction of the G major scale was explored in great detail. This was planned in hopes that you, the student, would absorb the execution of the patterns as well as the actual notes you are playing. This knowledge gives you the ability to evoke parts of the scale that work with specific chords during an improvisation. Some examples. If you are on a G chord measure, start the scale passage on a G note. If you are on a C chord measure, start the passage on a C note. If you are on an E minor measure, start the scale passage on an E note. Notice whether the chord at hand is a major or a minor, the starter note for the lick still adheres to the root of the said chord. Now turn to page 68. Pickin' on Reverse Mountain Curve You'll find that some of the examples I just gave you are within this version of Reverse Mountain Curve, originally seen in Volume 2. It's now a more scale-oriented version of this tune. So, without further ado, I'll pick through it, nice and slow. This has two pickup notes, so I will count this one, two, three, four, one, two, and come in on the two pickups. One, two, three, four, one, two. <laughs> 